Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In today's video tutorial, we will learn how to configure a toggle button in NCC Unified. A toggle button is used to switch a process on or off with a single press. Toggle button is type of button that switch between two state like on and off each time it is pressed and remain in its last state until it is pressed again so for example here you can see we have two of the buttons so right now pump is in a stop mode so once you press this button so our motor is start and once you again press same button the motor will come stop so we will learn how we can configure this toggle button in WinCC so additionally we will also learn one step forward like uh, to give the professional look to our HMI graphics uh, this button X should also show us uh, what is the current state of our commands like right now the command value is 0 that's why it should stop once we press the command value become true 1 and is showing the start so let's see how we can configure it in the WinCC Unified. So, in our previous tutorial, we already created this protocol. So, we will use the same. So, I will take a button element. So, click for the button element and then just write start. This okay. Now we'll go in the property area and event and then select the press and go here in system functions and tag and then select the word bit in tag and after select from here the tag will select From uh, P01 start button. So invert put uh, bit in tag function uh, is the default function that is work like a toggle. Okay, so that's it for the commands. Now, additionally, to give professional look to our button, once the button is pressed, the text should show the status like the feedback status of our command to do that so uh, we will configure our text property the property general text so to configure that uh, we will uh, configure like the resource list So resource list will select the option text list. Select the option from here the text list. And after that, before configure uh, assign the tag, first we have to 
configure our text list that will work as a resource list. Configure the text list. You can see from the left side, text and graphic list. Double click it. And here we'll uh, create a new text list. I can type it like okay, then come in the below text list entries, double click it here and put it here zero. And then again, double click it here, then it's already the same. So I want once the value is zero of my tag, then it should show the stop. If the value is tag is two or one, then it should show start. Okay, that's it. So now we'll go back in our overview. And overview, we will select our tag. Which tag we want to show data? Our tag. So that is the point one start button. And after that, we will select our the list. So as you can see, we have we created just now motor command status. Select it. So now we'll configure same functionality uh, uh, using the script function. So I will take another button and I will paste it here. So stop. Okay. Then I will go even. And then click here, convert the function this to the script. Okay, now we have here the function. So I will first is uh, in the toggle function script, we'll read the tag data. And after reading the tag uh, data, then we'll uh, apply the if else condition. So let's see how we'll configure it. Go in the HMI runtime tag, then the read tag. So here we have to put our tag name. So I will go in the HMI tag. And I will copy the name of my tag. the name okay and after that now I need a logical function if else condition so I tag once it read the status of the uh, my uh, from the PLC then the data will come here in the tag value one so I will just copy this and I will paste in the condition. Once the condition is true in that time, what I want, I want like the tag one dot write value in data false. False or the zero. And I will same same statement this it here and okay. 
so it will read the value from the field if the value is for example one two it will write the false if the value is zero in that case it will write the one so okay so here is the part of the command now i will move for the uh, second step to give my button professional look whatever the status of my uh, command it or the command uh, tag so i will accordingly i will change the text inside the button so here uh, i will use a script function previously i used the resource list but here i will use the script function so here now i will uh, read data from the field So I will click right, right click, HMI runtime tag, tags, and the read data. And here I will paste my same tag name. Whatever tag here in this case my is my comp two is there. I will copy my comp. it here okay so now what happened in the in this tag value my pump to uh, data will come whatever the false value now I will implement here the one logic condition if else condition I will copy tag one value and in the condition i will paste it and after that here the return value value one so i will copy this so if the value is true in that case it should write a x start so if the value is false in that case it should show stop. Okay, I will recheck my event here. See, I have to write button. Okay, perfect. Okay, save it. Now we will download. Right click. Download. Our project successfully downloaded. Now open our runtime. sign in and then just press F. so you can see right now our pom one is in start mode so here also showing the pump will start and our button is also showing once i press so now my pump is become stop and showing also stop so this button right now if one single click you can Turn on your pump and turn off your pump. Similar manner in the below, you can see once you press the pump is start. Once you again press same button, the pump will become stop. So Alhamdulillah, we learn in this tutorial how we can configure toggle button in the WinCC Unified. Thanks for watching this video.